Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of composing and decomposing numbers. This is Math Standard 3.2a in Texas. and We are using item number 27 off the 2019 STAR test. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and take a moment, pause the video to solve the problem yourself, and then unpause it. We'll look at our answers together. So this is one of those tricky math test questions. It looks pretty simple, but first we need to understand that we're looking for the answer choice that does not describe 7,140. That means that three of these actually do. We're looking for the one that does not. And all four of these answers are uh, written in words. We don't necessarily have any numbers besides our actual number, 7,140. So to help us look at that, let's go ahead and just take a look at that in expanded form. So 7,000 plus 100 plus 40, and then we're not going to put a plus 0. So that's what we would look like in expanded form. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what, what would this look like if we wanted to write this in word form. So we've got uh, 7,000 in word form, and then we would put a comma. We would say 100, and then we would say 40. Now, you're not going to find that exactly, but that's going to at least get us one answer that we can mark off. And we notice, take a look at these. We've all got 7,000s. So every single one of these has 7,000s. So that's really not what we're looking at. That's not going to be our trick. The trick is the 100 and the 40. So 100. So this has got 100. This has got 100. This has got 100 doesn't mean that A is wrong, but we're just trying to find the one that matches what the word form is. And then 40. So I've got 40 tens, 4 tens, and 40 ones. Hmm. 40 is going to be, if I'm looking at a pictorial form, it's going to be 4 ten rods. So 4 tens, this is actually going to be closest to what our word form is going to be. So we're going to mark this one off because remember, we're trying to find the one that does not describe 7,140. So let's look at B and D. So I need, because they all have 100. So really, we're just looking for B and D. How do you make 40? Uh, one way to make 40 is you've got four tens. That's what C tells us, and that's fine. 10, 20, 30, 40. B says 40 tens, so 40 equals 40 tens. Now, if I had 40 tens, I would have a lot more. Actually, I'm going to say that's, that is going to be incorrect here. 40 tens, that'd be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that's just 10 tens. So if I did that 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, if I did that two more times, 20, 30, 40, 50, that's going to get me 40 tens, and that is going to actually be, that's 400. So 40 tens is actually the same as, and I'll put that over here, 400. So if I put that with B, I've got the sum of 7,000s plus 100, so 7,000s plus 100 plus 40 tens, which is really 400. Well, that's going to give me my 7,000. That's 7,500. That is not what I need. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be my answer. Let's take a look at D. 40 ones. Well, yeah, if I count 40 by ones, then I'm going to get up to 40. So yes, 40 ones does equal the number 40. That's just keep counting by ones. So that's good. The only one I need to double check is A, 7,000s and 14 tens. Well, I've got my tens right here. If I count by tens, I've got 10 tens right there. So that's 100, 110, 120, 130, 140. Yeah, uh, 14 tens does equal 140. So that's going to be good. So then my answer is going to be B, that does not equal 7,140. 